what an amazing day. The sun is shining. A few clouds on the horizon to the west. Let's take a look at what's happening in the garden. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about natural pest control. It's amazing what Mother Nature, you know, has got going on for. This spider here has decided the first bloom on the loofah belongs to him. And he's going to protect it. There's an ant that keeps going up and down. But the spider, you can, I don't know if you can see. Let's see. There is a web, you know, a string going across. But he's here to protect the loofah. Yet yeah, you see the holes in the loofah. And then over here is the culprit. This is a Japanese beetle. And that spider's a little bit too little to, you know, take him on. But if he were trapped in a big old spider web, you know, he might have dinner. And then we've got little, you know, red-white flies. I'm not sure if I can catch it. They're going about looking for somebody to eat. And there's just a normal fly. The tourists around here just fly over. It's like the paparazzi trying to get my garden secrets. Little do they know, all they have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel and they can watch for free without paying for a pilot. <laughs> but, um, the dwarf shadow boxing tomatoes down there are getting ready to soon be able to be picked. The crystal apple soon will be able to be picked. And the asparagus beans, oh man, they're growing by leaps and bounds. This one I could pick today and go in and cook for dinner. This one also. You want to pick them in their immature form and when they start turning yellow and getting really mature um, this is to the point of um, you want to save them after they dry for, you know, like um, black-eyed peas, you know, a dry bean, or save them for seed for next year. So this is my seed harvest, you know, what I'm saving for seed are these three. The rest I'm going to eat. And then, let's see, amethyst jewel is almost ready. And then Barry's Crazy Cherry is pretty much ready to start picking. Need to get this bean off the crown. <laughs> Those are asparagus beans. And here's a new one forming. It, this isn't the flower, this is the start of the flower and shortly it'll bloom. You can physically take these guys off of here and, you know, dispose of them. You know, I've got, there's a ladybug too. She's a good helper at getting rid of pests. Where the ants farm aphids, you know, like milk cows, they um, protect the aphids. Look at all them guys. Japanese beetles. You know, I'm not putting up the scientific name. You know, they're in all forms all over the world. There's another ladybug. Fast at work. And a fly. Another Japanese beetle. I need to hang one of the bags back here to catch these guys. The one that I used in the potato garden worked immensely well. That fly. 
He's pretty cool. And an ant underneath. You know, how many times do you take the time to inspect and look at every detail? Like this powdery stuff right here could be powdery mildew starting. You know, where the tomatoes more than likely um, have an early blight or another, you know, early, you know, the yellow with brown spots. But I think there's a light color in the center of the ring here. You know, I need my glasses to make sure. I've just trimmed off the bushes, and, or bushes, the lower vines, and tried my best without using chemicals. But these hybrids here were really susceptible. Ah, words, words, words. <laughs> uh, they over did it with the leaves, you know, this year. They. Even though I put grass clippings down, you know, I need to raise the ground up higher for next year to get them out of the water. Look at the baby being there. It's coming out of the flower and the flower's still stuck on the end. It's not one of the most beautiful flowers, but it's, you know, a product productive one. Oh, look at that ladybugs multiplying so shortly you know we'll have an army of ladybugs back here and we already have the little army of Japanese beetles that's the bad guy and the good guy and look at all these Lots of Japanese beetles, lots of ladybugs, nature in balance, you know, predator and prey. Good guy, bad guy, and balance. If we were to, or if I were to spray chemicals, I would disrupt the balance and kill both the good guys and the bad guys. And then it would be bad guys come back first. And good guys would be a lot longer to come back. Look at the ants down there. I don't know if you can see the strings, you know, right there. I don't know the food source for this spider, but he's there to stay and protect this flower. I guess that's the end of my story for today. You know, good guys, bad guys, learning to get along, and the garden is, you know, making it no matter what. Y'all have a good day, and thanks for watching.